the German states. While the Bourbons were building the strongest monarchy in Europe, the Habsburgs of Austria were trying to set up their own absolute monarchy in Central and Eastern Europe. Their efforts renewed tensions between Europe's Catholics and Protestants. This eventually led to yet another conflict, the Thirty Years' War. Though most of the fighting took place in Germany, all the major European powers except England became involved. The Thirty Years' War Conflicts between Catholics and Protestants had continued in Germany after the Peace of Augsburg in 1555. These disputes were complicated by the spread of Calvinism, a religion that had not been recognized by the peace settlement. Furthermore, the Protestant princes of Germany resisted the rule of Catholic Habsburg monarchs. In 1618, the Thirty Years' War began in Bohemia, where Ferdinand of Styria had become a king a year earlier. Ferdinand was also the Habsburg heir to the throne of the Holy Roman Empire. An enemy of Protestantism who wanted to strengthen the Habsburg's authority, Ferdinand began his rule by curtailing the freedom of Bohemian Protestants, most of whom were Czechs. In 1618, the Czechs rebelled and took over Prague. Soon the rebellion developed in a full-scale civil war. Ferdinand and Catholic princes against the German Protestant princes. Philip III of Spain, a Habsburg, sent aid to Ferdinand. The Czech revolt was crushed by 1620, and over the next 10 years, the Czechs were forcefully converted to Catholicism. Instead of ending, however, the war continued. Protestant Denmark now fought against the Habsburgs, hoping to gain German territory. The Danes were soon defeated and forced to withdraw. Then Sweden entered the war to defend the Protestant cause. By the time the war had been going on for 12 years, and religious issues were taking second place to political ones, in 1635, under Cardinal Richelieu, Roman Catholic France took up arms against the Roman Catholic Habsburgs to keep them from becoming too powerful. For 13 more years, the war dragged on, rival armies plundering the German countryside and destroying entire towns. Historians estimate that Germany lost about one-third of its people. When the conflict finally ended in 1648, the outcome was the further weakening of Germany and the rise of France as Europe's leading power. The Peace of Westphalia ended the war, recognized Calvinism among the official religions, and divided the Holy Roman Empire into more than 300 separate states. The Habsburgs still ruled Austria and Bohemia, but their control of the other German states was in name only, thus ending their hope of establishing an absolute monarchy over all of Germany. Austria After the Thirty Years' War, the Austrian Habsburgs concentrated on building a strong monarchy in Austria, Hungary, and Bohemia. Austria was still the most powerful of the German states. In 1683, the Austrians, with the aid of the Poles, lifted an Ottoman siege of Vienna. By 1718, Austrian armies had regained territory in the Balkan Peninsula from the Ottomans. As a result, the War of Spanish Succession, the Austrians received the Spanish Netherlands and acquired lands in Italy. In 1740, 23-year-old Maria Theresa inherited the throne of Austria from her father, Holy Roman Empire, Charles VI. According to long custom, women were not permitted to rule Austria. In 1718, Charles had convinced the monarchs of Europe to accept a pragmatic sanction, or royal decree having the force of law, by which Europe's rulers promised not to divide the Habsburg lands and to accept female succession to the Austrian throne. Maria Theresa had not received any training in political matters, yet she proved to be a clever and resourceful leader. Overcoming the opposition of the nobility and most of her ministers, Maria Theresa greatly strengthened the Austrian central government. She reorganized the bureaucracy, improved tax collection, and furthered the building of roads. Understanding that the unity of her empire depended on a strong economy, Maria Theresa ended trade barriers between Austria and Bohemia and encouraged exports. She also used government funds to boost the production of textiles and glasses. Prussia Maria Theresa faced a number of enemies in Europe. One of these was France, the traditional rival of the Habsburgs. In the 1700s, a new European rival rose to prominence in northeastern Germany. Bradenburg, Prussia, was ruled by the Hazelorn family, which had ruled the territory of Bradenburg since the 1400s. During the Thirty Years' War, they gained control of Prussia and other widely scattered lands in Germany. Great Elector One of the greatest of the Hohenzollern monarchs was Frederick William. He held the title Great Elector. After the Thirty Years' War, Frederick William increased the strength of the Bradenburg, Prussia by creating a permanent standing army. To meet the cost of his army, he proposed raising taxes. The Junkers, or nobles, opposed this plan. Frederick William then worked out a compromise with them. He permitted only Junkers to be landowners, freed them from taxes, and gave them full power over the peasants. In return, the Junkers agreed that Frederick William could tax townspeople and peasants. These two groups were too weak to organize and oppose this increased burden. In 1663, the Junkers further strengthened their ties to the Hohenzollerns. They pledged allegiance to Frederick William. As a result of this alliance with the Junkers, Frederick William was able to become an absolute ruler. 
Frederick William was succeeded by his son Frederick I. Frederick aided the Austrian Habsburgs against Louis XIV in the War of Spanish Succession. As a reward, Frederick was given the title of king. He was, however, a weak ruler who did little to strengthen his country. Frederick William I. Frederick William I, who ruled from 1713 to 1740, was a powerful leader. He centralized the Prussian government, uniting all functions into one bureaucracy under his direct control. He supported production and trade and brought more revenue into the government treasury. Known as the Royal Drill Sergeant, Frederick William devoted his life to the Prussian army and made it the most efficient fighting force in Europe. He especially delighted in recruiting tall soldiers and formed a special regiment of giants that he drilled himself. Frederick II. In 1740, Frederick II, Frederick William I's son, became the King of Prussia. As king, Frederick adopted his father's military ways and set out to expand Prussian territory. Frederick the Great, as he became known, rejected Austria's pragmatic sanction and seized the Austrian province of Silesia. Frederick's attack on Silesia began a conflict with the, called the War of the Austrian Succession. Prussia's forces were stronger than Austria's. In spite of her disadvantage, the Austrian Empress, Maria Theresa, decided to send her forces into battle. Spain and France backed Prussia, while Great Britain, formed in 1707 by the Union of England and Scotland, and the Dutch Netherlands supported Austria. After seven years of fighting in 1748, the European powers signed the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle, which officially recognized Prussia's rise as an important nation. Frederick was allowed to keep Silesia. Maria Theresa was able to hold the rest of her domain, Austria, Hungary, and Bohemia. The Austrian ruler, however, was not satisfied within the treaty and was determined to recover Silesia. To this end, Maria Theresa changed her alliance from Great Britain to France. She also gained the support of Russia since Prussia's Frederick II was an arch enemy of Empress Elizabeth of Russia. These alliances set the stage for further conflict. The Seven Years' War from 1756 to 1763 was a worldwide conflict in which Great Britain and France competed for overseas territory, and Prussia opposed Austria, Russia, France, and other nations. The war between Austria and Prussia erupted in 1756. After victories in Saxony, a German state and ally of Austria, and after a later victory over the Austrians in Silesia, Frederick II signed a peace agreement that enabled him to retain most of Silesia. The struggle between Great Britain and France in North America was known as the French and Indian War. The British and French also fought in India. At the Treaty of Paris in 1763, France gave up most of French Canada and its lands east of the Mississippi River to Great Britain. Great Britain also replaced France as the leading power in India. As a result of the Seven Years' War, Great Britain emerged as the strongest colonial empire and Prussia retained the province of Silesia.